Hello everyone, and thanks for watching Fast Track Tutorials. My name is Emil Sliegers, I have been an environment and material artist for about 8 years now, and I will be your instructor for this course. In this course, I will show you everything that you need to know to create tileable materials that are perfect to be used in environments for both games and film. When I decided to create this course, I wanted to teach you multiple different techniques on how to create materials just like we do in the game industry. And that is what we will be doing. We will be going over on how to create procedural materials in Substance Designer, how to create materials using both ZBrush and Substance, and on how to create photogrammetry materials. Best of all is that I have included both beginner level material workflows all the way up to intermediate and advanced workflows, meaning that this course will have something useful for everyone. We will first go over on how to create a basic tiles material using Substance Designer. We will cover some of the Substance interface and I will show you in real time on how to quickly create some tiles, add custom cracks and create a proper base color and roughness map. Then, once we have covered that, we will go over on how to create a more advanced broken tarmac material, also using 100% Substance Designer. This material will be a bit more advanced, but everything will still be done in the real time without any time lapses. Some of the key points in this material are on how to create a stone generator, how to create a realistic base color and roughness, and on how to render a scene using Marmoset Toolbag 4. In the end, we will have an amazing looking material that is fully procedural, and it has the flexibility to control how broken the tarmac is, how many stones there are scattered around, and many more settings. We will then move on to creating a material using ZBrush and Substance Designer. For this we will be sculpting all the big shapes using ZBrush, this includes the ground and the stones. I will also show you how to place some foliage on your material using Maya. And then we will bake our material using Marmoset Toolback 4 and finalize it in Substance Designer until we have a material that we can be proud of. Finally, for our last two materials we will be using photogrammetry techniques. For this, I will actually take you outside and I will show you the techniques I use to scan both a brick wall material and a ground material using a simple DSLR camera. We will then convert these materials into a 3D mesh using a reality capture and then bake it down into a 2D texture using Marmoset. I will show you how to make these materials perfectly tileable using two different techniques, one of which will be in Substance Painter and the other one will be in Substance Designer. All of our materials will be rendered using Marmoset Toolback 4, but as a little bonus I have also included an extra chapter where I will show you how I create an environment in Unreal Engine 4 using these materials. This bonus chapter will be done using a time lapse as it is not the main focus of this tutorial course. In the end you will know the techniques and workflows needed to create almost any type of environmental material. So that was a quick overview of this tutorial course. If you are interested in more environment tutorial courses, like on how to create props or even entire environments, then I would recommend that you look on our store page. I hope that you are excited for this tutorial course and I hope to see you soon. Once again, my name is Emil Sliegers and thanks for watching Fast Track Tutorials.